This is Anurag Singh, Professor of Oncology and Director of Radiation Research at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center in Buffalo, New York, presenting an overview of head and neck cancer and its impact on nutritional status. This presentation will cover the incidence of head and neck cancer in the U.S. and the factors associated with head and neck cancer, outline the usual treatment course, including chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery, and define the impact on nutritional status and malnutrition consequences. Head and neck cancers include malignant tumors arising from the oral cavity, the pharynx, including nasopharyngeal, oropharyngeal, and hypopharyngeal locations, larynx, paranasal sinuses and nasal cavity, and salivary glands. The main contributing factors to head and neck cancer include alcohol and tobacco use, the human papilloma virus, and in certain portions of the world, betel nut use. Head and neck cancers account for nearly 4% of all cancers in the U.S. More than 68,000 diagnoses are expected this year. The prevalence is twice as high in men, and it is more frequently diagnosed in patients over the age of 50. Overall, the prevalence of head and neck cancers is expected to increase over the next five years. Therapy for head and neck cancer can include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, including immunotherapy, or a combination of these treatments. The treatment plan for an individual patient depends on a number of factors, including location of the tumor, functional status, stage of the cancer, and age and general health of the patient. The goal of head and neck cancer surgery is to remove the cancer completely, which necessitates removing some healthy tissue also. If the cancer is large or has spread, the lymph nodes may also be removed. Some patients will need chemotherapy and or radiation therapy after to kill any cancer cells that are left. Treatment given after surgery to lower the risk that the cancer will come back is called adjuvant therapy. As a consequence of surgery, patients may have swallowing difficulties, swelling, pain, and structural deformities that make nutrition more difficult, and this can all lead to malnutrition. Radiation therapy uses high-energy x-rays to kill cancer cells. External beam radiation therapy uses a machine outside the body to send radiation towards the area of the body with cancer. Head and neck radiation is delivered over six to seven weeks of treatment with 30 to 35 treatments. This is often given with cisplatinum chemotherapy. Head and neck radiation therapy produces many acute and late side effects that can contribute to difficulty with nutrition, leading ultimately to malnutrition. These include oral mucositis in the acute setting and xerostomia and pharyngoesophageal stenosis in the late setting, as well as many other side effects. Chemotherapeutic agents are drugs that stop the growth of cancer cells. These drugs enter the bloodstream and can reach cancer cells in any location in the body. Chemotherapy may be used to shrink the tumor before surgery or radiation therapy. This is called neoadjuvant or induction chemotherapy. Head and neck cancer chemotherapy may have significant nutritional impacts through unintentional weight loss, anorexia or appetite changes, 
taste and smell changes, as well as dysphagia and stomatitis, not to mention nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, and or constipation. Head and neck cancer treatment can include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, immunotherapy, or a combination of these treatments. We have briefly covered the individual impacts of surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy on nutritional status. These are summarized here. In combination, all of these treatments together can produce even worse impacts combined on nutritional status leading to malnutrition. The key takeaways here are that many patients suffer from head and neck cancer. Treatment can include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or a combination of treatments. Head and neck cancer and its treatment can have significant nutritional impacts. Patients with head and neck cancer often need nutrition support.